Well, what was the vision of information networking in 1989 is actually a reality in today's world. Back in 93, we wanted to create a test bed that could be used by our wireless researchers. We also hoped we could build a wireless network eventually for the entire Carnegie Mellon campus, one that would provide high-speed internet service to users of mobile computers. In 1993, I wrote a grant proposal to the National Science Foundation to create the wireless test bed. It was funded by NSF in early 94, and then we were off and running. It was officially supposed to be used only by the wireless researchers, but we had lots of inquiries from other people asking, essentially, how do I get on the wireless network? And this was my first hint that there really was a demand for this anytime, anywhere, high-speed internet service that could be used by all students, faculty, and staff anywhere on the campus. So we stepped up our activities, and within a few years, we had just that, a campus-wide, high-speed wireless network to be used by any member of the Carnegie Mellon community. Wireless Andrew was a forerunner to what we now call Wi-Fi. 